Now you'll have to talk before I can talk. Because I just get scared when it gets quiet. Well, we started out uh, with how you happened to come into the hospital. And uh, we've been talking about your parents. Uh, what were the particular happenings that... Uh, Well, uh, when I was little, we lived with my grandmother a lot, his mother. And she and mother would go uptown to the movie or something, and they'd always leave me with him. Because he was either home drunk or with a hangover from being drunk. And then that is when he would do what he did to me. And I can remember going to the door and crying for them not to leave me. And mm. they would every time. I can remember one time when I had a girl to spend the night with me, and he did. And my mother was there a lot of times. You think he's sick? I, I guess you've it. already said that. Mm -hmm. In fact, I can look at him now. And he has really, I think he did what I did. He just regressed or something. He's got the mind of a child. You think you, you regressed? No, I know I did. You tell me about that. Well... To begin with, I don't know how I did. I don't really know when it first started. Because I didn't realize it when it happened. But, somehow or another, I got the funny feeling that I could have a better time with younger people. Which I was having a pretty good time. until I realized it all had to come to an end. Now, the way I realized that was to get a divorce. So I come in here. I thought, well, I just get rested up, get my nerves straight. And then I'll go home and get a divorce and be happy. Well, that wasn't right. My husband pointed out to me just what was going on and then I thought about it and I started looking back and I realized that he was right. So, I have started working toward coming out of that stage. Now I do have times when I go back and I know it. Then I get worried about it, then I get nervous and then I get upset. say something because I don't think I could be married to a man like him and I think that is why I turn against my husband too another reason how was that well he's just a hard working person and when someone makes love to me now I want them to be affectionate and consoling not just to want to have a sexual intercourse and I have never had that. I think that's why I kind of turned against Dr. Graham. One person at the time right now, and I can't understand that. When I'm with Dr. Graham, I feel an attraction toward him. Then he'll say something that hits me the wrong way then I go to pieces. Same way with my husband. When I'm with him, I can feel an attraction toward him. 
then I hate Dr. Graham. When I'm with Mother, I feel an attraction toward her, and I hate my husband. And I cannot link all that together. It's the strangest, funniest feeling. Because I want to love everybody. And I think that I will be strong enough and have enough courage to talk to you, to Dr. Graham, to anybody enough that it'll help me. Well, I think you've done pretty well at talking with me. Well, you read my mind. That's exactly what I was sitting here thinking. Now, I feel better with you.